Hello there, and a very good day to our honest judges and lovely viewers. Together, me, Imran, and my resourceful teammates, Rai and Adlina, we will be representing MRSM Certing in this NSC competition. The Earth is suffering, and we are paying the consequences. How exactly, you might ask? Ecosystems that we rely to live on are getting destroyed by pollution. Us humans are also directly affected by microparticles that can cause long-term damage to our lungs. Most pollutants come from fossil fuel-based power plants. So, by utilizing science and technology, can we put an end to this self-destructive cycle? Renewable energy may be the best solution. A lot of people know the basics about renewable energy, like the types of renewable energy and how it can positively impact our lives. There's a lot more to be gained from using this kind of technology. According to the United States Department of Energy, 430 quintillion joules of energy from the sun hits the earth each hour. This means that a solar power plant covering 1% of the Sahara Desert can fulfill the power demands of every place on earth. Currently, less than 20% of our energy comes from renewable sources and there are a few reasons why it isn't so widely used. The main problem is related to the duck curve, a graph that shows the discrepancy between power usage and renewable energy generation. Solving this problem would push renewable energy beyond its current capability, making it a much more compelling choice. The current strategy of tackling this issue is to store the excess energy and releasing it when needed by using batteries or a fuel cell. So far, this has only been tested in small scales. Another problem would be the uncertainty that comes with generating power from natural sources. This could be mitigated by using fossil fuels as an emergency backup of sorts. With all of this in mind, what would be the best energy to be utilized? A hydroelectric plant has control over how the energy is released but requires clearing land. A wind farm, on the other hand, is cheap to maintain but it is an eyesore and could be a source of bird deaths that leaves us with solar power which although has some problems in manufacturing and installation the benefits outweigh the drawbacks it doesn't disturb wildlife or destroy ecosystems to add you can install two solar panels on your house or assemble 10,000 together to power a city